Hey guys, Henry here, and today we're going to be talking about the film Suicide Tourist, what I thought of the film, and whether I think it's worth a watch. So, Suicide Tourist is a film directed by Jonas Alexander Armby and written by Rasmuth Birch. And as the name suggests, it's centered around the fairly controversial topic of suicide tourism. The practice of where people travel to a separate jurisdiction where they can legally and professionally end their lives. Nicolaj Costawaldo plays the main character Max, who is diagnosed early on with a brain tumour, and he realises that his quality of life is going to be severely diminished, and he doesn't want to be a burden on his wife, knowing that she's going to have to take care of him, and she's also going to have to watch him suffer, and he doesn't want her to have to go through all of that pain. Through his work as a life insurance agent, he discovers this resort or hotel thing called the Aurora. They're essentially a company that has a hotel that is set up for these assisted suicides. And he makes the decision that he's gonna do it and he signs himself up and he's taken to their remote hotel. Nicolaj Costawaldo does an incredible job in this film. He was the heart and soul of this film and he really proved that he has the chops to carry a film all on his own. And that's not an easy feat. He was essentially in every scene of this movie and he had to be emotionally invested in his character to the nth degree. The role was not flashy, it wasn't dramatic, it was extremely contained. We spend an awful lot of time with Max just sitting in silence, just watching him, observing him, noticing his body language, his facial expressions, as he tries to cope with the situation and understand what position he's in and sort of process the decision he has to make, and after he's made it, dealing with that decision and the consequences of his choice. A mix of helplessness, confusion, anger, fear, the age-old feeling of why is this happening to me? I mean, this movie is all about that emotion. There's lots of staring up at the ceiling, there's lots of staring off into the distance, there's lots of staring at themselves in the mirror, lots of shower scenes in contemplation of life, and the fact that he's actually engaging during these moments the fact that we actually learn more about Max during these moments where he doesn't say anything, he's just quietly thinking, he's quietly processing, it just proves how good of a performer he actually is. In addition to his acting, Tuva Novotny, who plays Max's wife, was also excellent. Their scenes ranged from extremely affectionate and happy, intimate moments to the annoyed and fed up moments. So we got to see their relationship at completely different points on the spectrum. But their relationship and chemistry really jumped off the screen. You really believed the love that they felt for each other. Something I must say though is that this film does play with your expectations. I'm not sure if it's intentional or not. The tense music, the remote location, and clinical setting of the facility just creates a really eerie atmosphere. And that gives you the impression that something is not quite right. That gives you the idea that something more sinister is happening in the basement. But the film never completely leans into this. Really, this film actually teases it, but just never gives you the satisfaction. I was waiting the whole time for a holy shit moment. I was waiting for shit to hit the fan, but it never quite got there. <laughs> I think that's okay. I feel like that's just, you know, having watched so many thrillers, that's your expectation. I feel like this movie was trying to say like, it's okay, it's not actually like that. It seems sinister because yes, what's going on is it's a really dark topic. It's, you're, you're actually killing people, you're disposing of their bodies. It's not some happy vacation, but at the end of the day, it happens and it doesn't need to be more sinister for it to feel scary. This film is definitely a slow burn. It was a slow and steady build up and then the end came really quickly, which I guess in some ways really parallels death. It's always slowly approaching, it's constantly coming towards you. And then when it gets here, it's, it's over in a flash. And that's that, your life is over. The film definitely didn't try to trivialize the choice to take one's own life. It was honest and raw and genuine. It really tapped into the feeling of despair and desperation that these people that elected to go to this hotel really must have felt. And you know it's not an easy decision to make, and there's no right or wrong in this situation, I guess, because he was trying to do something for someone he loved. But by doing that thing, he would be breaking the heart of the person he loved. He was just put in an awful, awful situation. And he decided that this was the best course of action. 
I personally also really enjoyed Max's interactions with the other people at the Aurora, and I wouldn't have minded being able to see a bit more into their story or how they ended up there as well. I get that we're just following Max completely, following him on his journey, and just seeing how he's impacted by the other people there, and seeing how he sort of decodes why they're there, because nothing is really explicitly said, everything's sort of, they just talk about it in a really roundabout way, because the subject matter is just so taboo. Even there, they don't even want to talk about it. But, you know, as Max is given these breadcrumbs, we're giving these breadcrumbs, I just wish we had, you know, a bit more of a deeper dive. I feel like the characters that we were introduced to were really, really interesting. Overall, Suicide Tourist is an extremely raw film, headlined by a very capable actor, and explores a very interesting subject matter. It is definitely not a film for everyone. It's not gripping, it's not exactly thrilling, it's more of a character piece, an insight into the psyche of someone going through something like this, and an insight into this world of suicide tourism in itself. But if this review has made you curious, even though you know I've given the disclaimers that this is not super exciting or super gripping, then I'd say that you'd probably find this film quite interesting. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please be sure to give me a big thumbs up and comment in the comment section down below. If you like this and you want to see more content from me, please be sure to subscribe. Thank you guys again, and I'll catch you guys next time.